Hi, it's Roberto Mickey, and today we're going to be showing a video about a surgery we performed on a patient with a date palm thorn embedded in the dorsum or back of his hand. The patient, approximately six weeks prior to his presentation, was cutting down a palm frond, and the frond hit him in the left hand. At the time of his injury, he noticed a small puncture wound, but did not notice a foreign body. Subsequently, he noted continued swelling on the back or dorsum of his hand. So he went and got x-rays, which were negative for foreign body or fracture. So when he came to our office on physical examination, we could palpate a needle-like foreign body on the back of his hand. So we performed an ultrasound in the office and found a dorsal foreign body measuring approximately 1.5 centimeters in length. And he was scheduled for surgery to remove the foreign body. So it turns out that these injuries are relatively common in the Middle East, where date palms are farmed on large plantations. The date palm goes by the scientific name Phoenix dactylifera. It is thought that the plant originated from an area in modern day Iraq. These injuries often occur in the hands, feet, and knees of patients. They occur in both adults and children. Many times children are playing underneath these palms and don't realize that the thorns are there and get stuck in their feet and hands. As in this case, many times the retained form bodies go unrecognized until a swelling occurs at a later time. In some cases, retained thorns can cause synovitis, arthritis, pseudotumors, granulomas, and even osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis is an infection of the bone. Surgical removal is definitely recommended because removal of just the thorn that is visible on the outside can often leave a tip on the inside because it's so brittle. Ultrasound is a very good technique for detecting a retained form body as the thorns, like many plant materials, often do not show up on radiographs. One take home message for ER physicians is that radiographs are needed to rule out fractures, but ultrasound is your best bet if you want to confirm a form body. Here are some example photos of date palms in Miami. Here the palms are mostly used as ornamental plants and not so much for food. You can see the thorns are in the proximal end of the palm frond. There is an example here of a green frond and this is an example of a brown or dried out frond. You can see that the thorn, which is a modified leaf, is highlighted in red circles in both photographs. What you see here is the start of our surgery. It's a little bit in fast forward so that we can get through some of the boring parts, but we're marking the skin. We're then infiltrating the area with a local anesthetic so the patient doesn't have pain. And then we set up for an ultrasound. And at this point in time, we slow down the video so you can see the ultrasound that we're performing and the ultrasound is being performed both in a longitudinal view and a cross-sectional view of the form body. This is the longitudinal view of the form body. You can see it's about two centimeters in length. And this is the cross-sectional view of the form body. And you can see it's a pretty pointy uh, and small diameter form body. Once we've identified the form body, we then exsanguinate the forearm and raise the tourniquet so that we can control bleeding. And this exsanguination is performed using something called an Esmark, which is sort of like a rubberized bandage, which allows you to stretch and compress the tissue. We then make a small incision over one end of the foreign body and dissect very slowly and carefully down to the foreign body using something called a tenotomy scissors. In this part of the video, you can see us carefully dissecting down to the foreign body trying to identify it as we go. And, but once we identified it, we used the special forceps to grasp the form body and remove it. We then subsequently measure it so that we can confirm that it's close to the size of the form body that we found on ultrasound. And this one measured about two centimeters in length. This is a more close-up photo of it in formalin. You can see that the form body is just a typical form. In this part of the video, you can see us further dissecting, make sure there's no retained form body. We then perform a second ultrasound, demonstrating that there is no retained foreign body. We then obtain cultures of the wound itself to rule out any kind of infection there. And then we irrigate the wound out really well to make sure that there's no foreign body. And we inject a little more local anesthetic, close the wound, and place a sterile bandage. Everyone out there, stay safe, wear a mask. And if you like this video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and help out the channel. Thanks a lot.